Um, can you talk about the retina not being able to see itself and consciousness? Is that the experiencing of... What do you mean the retina? The eye. Yeah. You cannot see your own eye, right? Yeah. So you cannot experience consciousness, is that no. right? On the On the thinking, so what happens um, when waking up is there's different stages that seem to happen. But then eventually you begin to realize there's no stages. And one stage is that your thinking mind, so the personality structure, feels like it looks round at consciousness and that it can see consciousness. But it's still a divided mind because actually the thinking mind can only be looked at. It can't look at consciousness. So just like your eye can't look at itself, it's the same. The personality structure and, and the, the personality can't know consciousness. So this isn't anybody that wakes up. So it's more intuitive then. It's a, it's a. It's an energetic movement, right? Actually, so it, what happens is energy identifies with the thinking mind, with the personality structure, and it's the letting go of that, and it's the way it is. Because right now, there is consciousness looking at me. Your ca your personality structure isn't actually looking at me. Your personality structure is interpreting me in time. What looks at me is consciousness. So it's this energetic movement from being this horizontal line, this narrowness, this limitation, to something that's not limited. And that's undescribable, but it's something that's happening now.